The Airbus A380, once hailed as the pinnacle of aviation engineering, captivated the world with its unprecedented size and luxury. Designed to revolutionize long-haul travel, this double-decker behemoth could carry over 800 passengers, offering amenities like onboard lounges and showers. However, despite its marvels, the A380 faced challenges in an industry shifting towards fuel, efficiency, and flexibility. As a result, several airlines have retired their fleets and production ceased in 2021. Yet, the A380's legacy endures, symbolizing both human ingenuity and the ever-evolving dynamics of air travel. In today's video, we'll explore 10 fascinating facts about the Airbus A380 that you might not know. Some are surprising, others are record-breaking, but all reflect why this aircraft remains one of aviation's most iconic creations. Just a quick note, I'm an aviation enthusiast, and the information you're about to see has been carefully researched and compiled from multiple reputable sources. If you spot anything that needs correcting, or if you have your own cool A380 facts, feel free to drop a comment below. Now, let's get into it. Fact number one, the Airbus A380, an engineering marvel comprising four million parts. The Airbus A380 stands as a testament to international collaboration and engineering prowess. It comprises approximately 4 million individual components sourced from 1,500 suppliers across 30 countries. A global assembly, key structural elements of the A380 are manufactured in various locations. Wings, constructed in Broughton, Wales. Forward and center, fuselage sections, built in Saint-Nazaire, France. Rear fuselage and vertical tail fin, produced in Hamburg, Germany. Horizontal tailplane, manufactured in Cadiz, Spain. These components are transported to the final assembly line in Toulouse, France, via the specially designed itinéraire à Grand Gabarit, a route combining sea, river, and road transport to accommodate the oversized parts. Precision in assembly, upon arrival in Toulouse, the massive sections are meticulously assembled in the Jean-Luc Lagardère plant. This process involves aligning and joining the components with high precision to ensure the structural integrity and aerodynamic performance of the aircraft. An engineering marvel, the Airbus A380, is not merely an aircraft. It embodies the pinnacle of aerospace engineering and international cooperation. Its construction showcases how complex logistics and collaborative efforts can culminate in creating the world's largest passenger airliner. Fact number two, the Airbus A380, unparalleled passenger capacity. The Airbus A380 holds the title of the world's largest passenger aircraft, boasting a maximum certified capacity of 853 passengers in an all-economy configuration. However, no airline has ever operated the A380 with this high-density layout. In contrast, the Boeing 7478 Intercontinental, the second-largest passenger aircraft, has a maximum capacity of 605 passengers in an all-economy setup, highlighting the A380's superior capacity. In practical operations, Emirates utilizes the highest capacity A380 configuration, seating 615 passengers across two classes, 58 lie-flat business class seats and 557 economy class seats. This configuration is deployed on high-demand routes such as Dubai to Copenhagen and Dubai to Kuala Lumpur. Conversely, Korean Air operates the A380 with the lowest seating capacity among current operators, accommodating 407 passengers in a three-class layout. 12 first-class suites, 94 prestige, class seats, and 301 economy class seats. This low-density configuration emphasizes passenger comfort and includes unique features like an onboard duty-free showcase and a lounge area. Fact number three, the A380 is wired with over 500 kilometers of cabling. The Airbus A380 contains an extraordinary 500 kilometers or about 310 miles of electrical wiring running throughout its fuselage, wings, and systems, a distance roughly equivalent to the driving route between London and Paris. This immense web of cables powers everything from flight control systems and avionics to lighting, in-flight entertainment, and galleys. 
This level of complexity isn't just about quantity, it's also about organization. The cabling is meticulously color-coded, bundled, and routed to avoid interference and ensure maintainability across the aircraft's two decks and four engine systems. Managing this electrical architecture was one of the greatest engineering challenges Airbus faced during the A380's development. It even caused delays in early production when different Airbus facilities used incompatible 3D design software, requiring extensive rewiring and redesign. Fact number four, the most expensive, a 380 ticket ever sold. The most expensive ticket ever sold for an Airbus A380 flight was a staggering $123,000 purchased during a charity auction held by Singapore Airlines. This exclusive ticket was for the inaugural A380 flight from Singapore to Sydney on October 25, 2007. To commemorate the launch of the world's largest passenger aircraft, Singapore Airlines auctioned all seats on this maiden voyage, with proceeds benefiting various charities. The highest bid reached $123,000, securing a luxurious experience in the airline's first-class suites, which featured private cabins with sliding doors, a full-size bed, and personalized service. $123,000 in 2007 was an astronomical price for a flight ticket. I'm not sure if any first-class fare has ever surpassed that amount since. If you know of one, feel free to share it in the comments below. Fact number five the A380's longest and shortest commercial flights. The Airbus A380, renowned for its long-haul capabilities, has been deployed on some of the world's most extensive and briefest routes, showcasing its versatility in commercial aviation. Longest A380 flight, Emirates Dubai to Auckland. Emirates operates the longest scheduled A380 flight between Dubai and Auckland. This ultra-long haul route covers approximately 14,200 kilometers and has a scheduled flight time of around 15 hours and 45 minutes. Shortest A380 flight, Emirates, Dubai to Muscat. Contrasting its long haul prowess, the A380 has also been utilized on remarkably short routes. Emirates previously operated the world's shortest A380 flight between Dubai and Muscat covering a distance of just 340 kilometers, 211 miles, with a flight time of approximately 40 minutes. Fact number six, the A380's first commercial flight was a historic charity event. The A380's first commercial flight was a historic event. On October 25, 2007, the Airbus A380 commenced its first ever commercial flight with Singapore Airlines, operating flight SQ380 from Singapore to Sydney. This milestone journey marked the debut of the world's largest passenger aircraft in commercial service. The aircraft, registered as 9VSKA, was configured to accommodate 471 passengers, featuring 12 first-class suites, 60 business-class seats, and 399 economy-class seats. The flight departed Singapore Changi Airport at 8.16 a.m. local time and landed at Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport at 5.25 p.m. local time, completing the journey in approximately seven hours. Fact number seven, the Airbus A380's development cost exceeded $25 billion. The Airbus A380 stands as one of the most ambitious engineering projects in aviation history. Launched in 2000, the A380 program was Airbus's bold endeavor to create the world's largest passenger aircraft, aiming to challenge the dominance of the Boeing 747 in the long-haul market. However, the development of the A380 was fraught with challenges. Complexities in design, particularly issues related to the aircraft's extensive wiring systems, led to significant production delays and cost overruns. By the time production ceased in 2021, the total development cost of the A380 had soared to over $25 billion. Despite its technological marvel and the comfort it offered passengers, the A380 faced difficulties in achieving commercial success. The high development costs, coupled with shifts in airline preferences towards more fuel-efficient, smaller twin-engine aircraft, meant that Airbus never fully recouped its investment in the A380 program. Fact number eight, the final Airbus A380 delivery marked the end of an era. On December 16, 2021, 
Airbus delivered its last ever A380 aircraft, serial number MSN272, to Emirates, the world's largest operator of the Super Jumbo. This delivery concluded a 16-year production run, during which 251 A380s were built and delivered to 14 customers worldwide. The final aircraft, registered as a 6EVS, departed from Airbus's Hamburg facility bound for Dubai, joining Emirates' fleet as its 123rd A380. Emirates' significant investment in the A380 program underscored its commitment to offering unparalleled passenger experiences, featuring amenities like onboard lounges and shower spas. Fact number nine, operating the A380 costs approximately $1,000 per passenger on long-haul flights. Operating the Airbus A380 is a significant financial undertaking. For a typical long-haul flight, such as Emirates' 14-hour route from Dubai to Auckland, the total operating cost can reach around $500,000. This figure encompasses various expenses. Fuel costs, approximately $240,000, accounting for nearly half of the total operating cost. Crew salaries, around $30,000 to $40,000, covering the wages of pilots and cabin crew. Maintenance and airport fees. Combined, these can add another $30,000 to $40,000 to the total cost. Given that the A380 typically accommodates about 500 passengers, the average operating cost per passenger for such a flight is approximately $1,000. Fact number 10. Airbus produced 251 A380s, but several airlines have retired them. Airbus manufactured a total of 251 Airbus A380 aircraft during its production run. However, not all of these super jumbos remain in active service today. As of April 2024, 189 A380s are in service with 10 operators worldwide. Out of the 15 airlines that have operated the A380, Five have fully retired the aircraft from their fleets. Airlines that have retired their entire A380 fleets include Air France, retired its fleet of 10 A380s in 2020. Thai Airways, retired its fleet of six A380s. Malaysia Airlines, retired its fleet of six A380s. China Southern Airlines, retired its fleet of five A380s by November 2022. HiFly retired its single A380 in 2020. These retirements reflect the challenges faced by the A380 program, including high operating costs and changing market dynamics, favoring smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the fascinating world of the Airbus A380. If you enjoyed these insights and would like to see a part two, please leave a comment below. I'm passionate about exploring these super jumbo jets and would love to share more with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. Until next time, happy flying.